Shigeru Miyamoto was born in Sano, Kyoto, Japan on the 16th of November 1952. When Shigeru was just a child, he explored the forest around his home. On one of his adventures into the forest he came upon a cave and after days of hesitation he went inside. Shigeru's forest adventures inspired some of his best work, particularly the Legend of Zelda series. He graduated from college with no job lined up, but he had a love for manga and intended to become a professional manga artist. He was soon inspired to enter the video game industry by the 1978 arcade game, Space Invaders. In 1979, Nintendo began branching out into the world of coin-operated video games with their first game, Sheriff. Shigeru had created the art for this game and later in 1980 helped develop Nintendo's release of Radar Scope. The game had achieved moderate success in Japan and a year later it had hit the American market, but with no success at all. Shigeru was then given the task of designing a different game so the thousands of unsold radar scope machines could be converted and sold. He settled on the idea of having a love triangle between a gorilla, a carpenter and a girl. His inspiration for this idea came from the hit TV series Popeye. He also wanted nothing too evil or repulsive for the antagonist so he decided to use an ape which his inspiration for this came from the 1933 film King Kong. Shigeru had high hopes for the new project, but had lacked the technical skills to program it himself. So he came up with multiple concepts then consulted the technicians to see if it were possible. But many of his ideas were too complex. He eventually came up with having sloped platforms and ladders for travel, with barrels for obstacles. He asked the programming team if they could make the game have multiple stages. They disapproved the idea saying that it would be repetitive but they eventually programmed it. The game was criticized by Nintendo of America testing team as being too different from the shooter and makes games at the time. It is said to be the first true platformer game, so essentially Shigeru had developed a new genre for the video game industry. Donkey Kong was a huge success and soon had to sequel. Nintendo rewarded his success with more work, which included titles like Excite Bike and Evil World. His next game was based on the characters from Donkey Kong. He changed the character Jump Man into Mario, gave him a brother called Luigi and titled the game Mario Brothers. The appearance of Mario in Donkey Kong led Shigeru to change aspects of the game to make Mario a plumber rather than a carpenter. Shigeru felt that New York City provided the best setting for the game with this intricate structure of subterranean interconnecting passages of sewage pipes. The two-player aspect of the game was slightly influenced by the earlier video game titled Joust. After Mario Brothers, Shigeru worked on other games entitled Ice Chamber and Kid Icarus. He soon made a sequel to Mario Bros. titled Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. was so successful that it has been ported to almost every one of Nintendo's major gaming consoles. Shigeru began work on his next game, The Legend of Zelda. Shigeru took a new direction with The Legend of Zelda, using gameplay that forced the player to think their way through riddles and puzzles. His inspiration for The Legend of Zelda came from his childhood experiences when he would explore nearby fields, woods and caves. He took the fulfilling sense of exploration and successfully created it in the game. Shigeru was the director, producer and designer of the game. Super Mario Bros. and The Legend of Zelda sequels were being developed by Shigeru with both of them being very different from their predecessors in gameplay and style. Soon after Super Mario Bros. 3 was being developed with Shigeru as director. This project took more than two years to complete.